Hi guys, welcome to Box Pred. So let's take a look uh, briefly at a fight that's happening this weekend for the WBO light middleweight title of the world. Um, it sees Zalbek by Zangurov going up against Lukas Konechny. Uh, now this is a tough fight um, when you look, you're looking at it. The first thing I look at is outside factors, what I like to call outside factors, being in this case, where's the fight being held? Um, and where are both of the fighters from? Well, uh, Bizan Gurov the current, is a current champion and he's Russian and this fight is in the Ukraine. Now he fights as of late regularly in the Ukraine. Um, so this is essentially a, a home fight if you like for him. Now Lukas, uh, Lukas Konechny uh, is ch uh, Czech and he has fought a bit of all different places um, but I believe predominantly in the Czech Republic, and so so you you could say that this is again he's going onto the champions turf. Okay, um, how much of a difference it will make I don't know. Um, Konechny seems to have quite a following, quite a fan base. When I you know research and look at some of his videos, he seems to have quite a lot of fans cheering for him at his fights. Uh, maybe they'll travel with him. Um, we'll see. Uh, but looking at the differences. Uh, in uh, the heights and the reach reaches, um, Bazan Gurov is slightly taller guy. He's five ten and a half. Konechny is five eight, um, and Bazan Gurov's also got a half an inch reach advantage. Not not much, not not that substantial really. Um, so Bazan Gurov's won twenty seven fights. He has lost once, and that was a stoppage loss. Um, so th that was to, um, I believe. What's his name? I forgot the guy's name. Cornelius Bundridge, uh, who stopped him. Um, so again, Cornelius Bundridge still still a champion, I believe, still at the top of a top top of the division. So no shame in that, really. Uh, Konechny has forty eight victories. He's an experienced guy. Okay, he's lost three fights, but he's never been stopped. Um, this guy's quite rugged, uh, looks quite tough, uh, and both of these guys can mix it up really. Um, both ortho orthodox fighters. Um, looking at Bysan Gurov, he needs to establish a jab in this fight. In the fights I've seen of him, he doesn't really establish a jab enough for me, for my liking, particularly with view for this fight. Um, and that's something I really want to see from him uh, early on, is to try and establish the jab more, be more consistent with it. You know, he, he shows that he can throw it, but he tends to like get get up close a bit more than that, uh, than than he really needs to when he could try and dictate with the jab. Um, Sergei Zinzurek won a majority decision against uh, Konechny and um, I'm not sure how uh, the scoring was around that fight um, I haven't watched it in its, in its entirety but what I gleaned from it was that Zinzurek who's known for having a good jab was using the jab regularly on Konechny and that was sort of keeping Konechny uh, off balance a bit because Konechny likes to move and likes to come in and he's quite aggressive and um, he needs something to be uh, that defensive jab so that's something that Bajan Gurov needs to use in this fight Something Bison Gurov does do very well. He can fight. I think he can fight inside, and he clinches very well. He's a he's a good spoiler. Um, he can slow down his opposition and make it difficult for them. That's imperative in this fight. It's something he really needs to use to his advantage. It's the strength of his, and I think he he needs to use that in this fight because Konechny is going to going to probably come out all guns blazing. Um, Konechny is the type of guy. He's probably more aggressive coming forward than Bison Gurov, and he hunts you down. And you need to, to quell that, to calm that down. So Bizan Gurov needs to use the jab, and then if Konechny tries to get close and throw, he needs to sort of like try and spoil it, try and clinch. And I think that's something he can do successfully in this fight. Looking at Konechny, like I've said, more aggressive come forward, likes to come forward. Bizan Gurov likes to come forward as well, but I'm not sure if he's aggressive enough in his and, and has the footwork and movement advantage in this fight, which I think lies with Konechny. So I think Konechny early on may be the guy coming forward a bit more. Um, I think Konechny has a bit of a speed advantage, and he's a bit quicker, and like I said, a bit better movement. Based on my assumptions, what I'm saying here, um, what, I've, what I've looked, you would probably think I'm leaning towards Konechny for this fight. I'm not. I'm, I think Bajan Gurov will successfully defend his title, and I'm picking by unanimous decision. Maybe closer, maybe a close decision. Um, I just think that he'll be able to spoil Konechny's game. I think he'll, as the fight goes goes on, Slowly start to slow Konechny down, and then start, you know, scoring points of his own. 
and I think he may want to mix this up clo up close and use his height advantage, use his size. I think by some good he's a bigger guy in this, and I think you can use his size, start clinching, leaning on connection, he tiling him out, and essentially use a few heavyweight tactics in this fight, although it's only at light middleweight. Um, yeah, I, bit of a reserve prediction, but because I think it's a really close fight, and I think Konechny, both of these guys, Bezan Gurov has around 71% KO ratio, Konechny has around 45 but both of these guys can stop you. Um, if Konechny gets you up against the ropes, and if Bezan Gurov gets you up against the ropes, they're deadly, they throw good wide shots, they show, throw powerful shots. Um, I think that uh, as the maybe Bezan Gurov might start slow, and Konechny might take the first few rounds. But I think from then on, I think Bison Gurov starts slowing him down, bring the pace down to his level, and will start um, picking up the points. And I think that because he's on that, that home turf and he is the champion, I think he'll come away with, with the decision. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Please let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, the, these guys, um, particularly the champion, uh, Zarbek Bison Gurov, kind of off my radar. Um, what do you think of him? You know, he's a world champion, w, WBO, like middleweight. You know, so let me know what you guys think of this fight. Thanks for watching. This is Box Bread and I'm out.